Plexi Spot sent me a brand new sit stand desk. But is it strong enough for me to get on and ride all the way up? Let's find out. My name's Jim, and this is the Edge of Desk. Hey, John, it's Sam. I heard Jim's doing another desk video. Can you believe it? Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the studio, Jim from the Edge of Desk. I'm not gonna lie. I get a lot of comments about my desk or this bench and how wobbly it is. And it's been a running joke on my channel for quite a while now. Not to mention that really good computer desk video I did a couple months back. Trust me, I'll never live that down. It is such a joke between the community and my channel that we have decals and t-shirts like you see here. And it's just hilarious. Even this guy makes fun of me. Dear Jim, we've told you before, step away from the desk. So recently the team over at FlexiSpot noticed my wobbling desk and they offered to send me over the FlexiSpot Pro Plus E7. This is supposed to be a very durable, heavy duty sit stand desk, even when it's raised all the way to the top. I could tell you that if its durability is based on the weight of this box of just the frame, it's gonna be durable because this box is super heavy. But let's get this thing built and find out. I tell you what this time, if this desk is actually any good, I'll buy one. While I'm getting the boxes opened, I wanted to jump in. I've decided to build the frame on top of my current sit stand desk. So you could see kind of how I like to use a sit stand desk. I'm gonna have to lower this thing to keep building it because it's gonna get pretty tall. This actually came in two main boxes. This is the frame box and this is the top right here. And like I said previously, the frame box is crazy heavy. It's way heavier than the top is. Assembling it was very easy. Once I got it unboxed, I had to start with the frame. The frame went together very, very simple. Everything was pre-tapped, pre-drilled, and ready to go. It was a little bit heavy, so I suggest doing this on the floor, not on the desk like I did here. Speaking of the desktop, the holes in the desktop were pre-drilled. That means all you had to do is unbox the desktop, set the frame on top of that, and then screw it into the pre-drilled holes. That made everything super simple because everything was aligned and straight and ready to go from the factory. Once everything was installed, it was time to tip it up. This is where I messed up. I highly suggest you do not do this on another desk. Jesus, this is heavy. Woo. All right. The whole assembly of this desk was only about 30 minutes, so it was actually very fast to put together, and that included the accessories that I'm gonna show in a second. Speaking of the desktop, they sent me the 72 by 30 bamboo top. It actually was pretty light, and it looks really, really nice. I really like the look of this. Uh, it's a lot lighter than my old one, but I tell you what, I think it's gonna be much more durable and it's gonna hold up to the abuse we're gonna give it here on the channel. As part of the install, it came with a premium keypad that's touch. I installed it right back here and it has up and down arrows along with four programmable heights. So you can just kind of reach over and hit a button and it'll raise and lower all by itself. And as you can see, it's actually pretty fast. The other cool thing that it comes with is a child lock. And that's awesome because my little guy loves to raise and lower my other desk when he was here. So I can just hit that child lock and he won't be able to do that. But then again, I'll be taking some of his phone away. So I'm not sure I'll actually use it. Uh, also, it comes with a USB port on the side for charging, so you can charge your phone or a camera or whatever you need to right off the side of the control panel. I think that'll come in super handy, especially when we're doing stuff with a GoPro. I can actually plug the GoPro in and have it charge while I film. The frame of the table, if you saw when I was building this, is made of carbon steel, which is super strong. It also has dual motors, one on each side, and I tell you, the frame is the heaviest part about this desk, and I can definitely vouch that it's much more sturdy than my old desk. 
uh, you can't really rock this thing at all. And the other one, as you saw earlier, was like wobbling all over the place. The other awesome thing about having a very sturdy desk with dual motors is it's very smooth in the motion to go up and down. So if you hit a button and it goes up, you can see this thing is fast, it's smooth, and it's raising very quickly. FlexiSpot also sent me some accessories to go with the desk, which was really awesome. One of the cool things about these desks is how customizable they really are. From the different color and size tops that you can get, uh, the different material tops from all the different accessories that you can mount underneath or on top or clamp on top. Uh, they're just a ton of stuff that you could get. They sent me three accessories. The first one was a power strip that mounts underneath the desk. I actually mounted this stuff when the desk was upside down. So you can see here the power strip, I just kind of set it in place, screwed it exactly where I wanted it, and it was done. It's gonna be there, I can plug stuff into it, and that's gonna be great for testing printers and lasers, just plugging right in. The next thing they sent me was a really nice cable management system. It came with a cardboard template that showed you where the holes were. You put the template on the desk where you want it, and you kind of made divots into the desk, or you could use a drill and pre-drill holes. And then the mounting brackets went in and the cable management tray just kind of screwed into the side. It looks really nice and it's gonna be awesome for keeping my cables kind of up off the floor. I love that. The last thing they sent me was a metal desk drawer. Again, super easy to install. You just kind of put it where you want and screw it into the bottom of the desk. It is nice, it has kind of a soft close so I can't really slam it. It hits that back and kind of pulls itself in. I don't know if they advertise it as soft close, but I can tell you I've tried to slam it a couple times and it doesn't. But the desk is nice. It's metal and it's gonna be very durable and sturdy for what I need it for. These were things that I actually installed myself on my other desk and I had to kind of source them and install them or, or 3D print them. I have some drawers that I 3D printed. But it's awesome that FlexiSpot offers these uh, with warranties right from their website and you can order it right when you order your desk. And it's also great that they're very good quality too. I, I feel like they're gonna hold up for a long time. So now that we've seen a little bit about the desk and talked about the accessories that came with it and kind of saw how I put it together, it's time to test this thing out. One of the cool things is how low this thing will go. It'll actually go from 22.8 inches off the floor all the way up to 48.4 inches tall and we're gonna test that. FlexiSpot actually says that this thing will hold 355 pounds on the desktop. Uh, little did they know that I'm actually gonna get on this thing. I am gonna climb on this desktop and we're gonna raise it all the way to the top. There's no, there's no way that desk is gonna take his weight. He weighs like a small car. So you can see how low this thing is. It's literally about right at my kneecaps. Uh, I'm standing on a mat back here, so I'm raised about an inch, but this thing is crazy, crazy low. Uh, man, I just hope this goes okay. So, all right, how do I want to do this? <laughs> so maybe like, whoosh, whoosh, uh, here we go. It's raising, it's going. It's a lot slower with my weight on here. It's going a little faster now. <laughs> this is crazy. He, he, he's really gonna hurt himself or break the desk. Oh uh, man, this is nuts. I'm gonna hit the lights. What do I wanna do? This is pretty awesome. I didn't think it was gonna lift me all the way up here. And all the way up, you see, I'm, I'm really trying to roll, rock and roll this thing. Not, not too much, because I don't want to fall. I'm maximum height right now. I think someone better call an ambulance before it goes drastically wrong. So let's see what happens when I uh, go back down. Oh, it's much faster. Man, this thing got me all the way up. I tell you what, I feel much safer on this thing than my other one. Let's just climb off. Oh, God. Right. There we go. Oh, geez. Well, I am glad that went well. It was not graceful and not pretty, but it went well. I'm every bit of 247 pounds today. So, hey, nice work, Flexi Spot. I guess if it didn't go right, I would be testing their 30 day money back guarantee or maybe their 15 year warranty that they give you on this desk. It really seems like Flexi Spot is going to stand behind their desks. And I really hope so because if I ever do that again, I, who knows? <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was crazy. If I wobble this thing back and forth, I mean, there's a little bit there, but nothing, nothing like you saw earlier. I mean, that, that other table was just wah, 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 wah. Thank you so much, FlexiSpot, for hooking me up with a stable desk, and maybe in my videos I won't get so many comments. Speaking of comments, let me know in the comments below how you would configure your desk. There's a link in the description and in the pinned comments. Go check it out. 
configure it and let me know how you would do it. What colors, what wood, what accessories, that kind of thing. I would love to hear it. There is one last thing I have to do and that is put my edge of desk decal on. Uh, they're uh, super easy to put on. You just kind of peel it off, lay it down and don't forget to peel that last layer off. Right, Sam? Uh, eat your money, Sam. You might have to buy one of these because it's actually a really nice desk. Fair enough. It's not actually that bad, is it? Uh, what's the link? Get your Edge of Desk shirts or decals or Edge of Tech shirts or decals, any of that. They're all handmade by Caleb. And there's a link in the description for those as well. So get them while they're hot. And by the way, have you seen this video yet?